Okay, welcome back. More Wildermuth. Always more Wildermuth. Right, this time, uh, going back. Uh, if you missed our last stream, uh, we've actually already moved on to uh, the next chapter, or the next campaign, which is the Enduring War. Uh, if you ever need to go back and watch a VOD, uh, just down in the below, that's my YouTube channel. That's where I'm posting all my VODs for now, but I've separated them out for each chapter. It's already back. It's a... <laughs> the rasp is already back. I can't help it. Let's go. Let's start. Let's roll. <laughs> right. We're already on chapter two. And we have this much more area to deal with. And we're back to rivers. Oh, we're back to rivers and mountains. I was just saying last time how nice it was to not have to battle with any rivers and mountains to pass through. Uh, okay. Um, good news. It, uh, we've got quite a while until our next incursion. And it doesn't look like any of our stuff's taken over. Pardon me whilst I have a drink. Our no, stuff's infected, I should say. We are going to be recruiting this time. Um, spend a lot of LP so let's see if I oh good we can recruit one guy uh let's start with that uh what's his name Willeen okay um yeah sure the rogues of the strike and chain has reached dreams rascal I've been waiting my whole life for this opportunity. Well, we have- I uh, haven't been around that long, but if you want, I could sign your, uh... Huh? Dude. Listen, what if I told you that my mother was a renowned cowherd? Not because she was any good with cattle, but because she beat a bull god in combat and won her good fortune. And then Grandma. Imagine she threatened a flood so severely that it turned on its tail before it reached Dream Rascal. Oh. We're already getting disconnects. Seriously, off one. Sorry guys, um, just a heads up, I've started recording these uh, directly for YouTube as well, so that, you know, if the stream does go down, I'll just keep going. Um, you won't miss anything. Here we go, I think we're back. Oh yeah, if you... I don't know. I've tried to figure out what's going on with the internet. Last time it was perfectly fine. Today, nada. Okay. Anyway, again, if you start to miss out stuff, 
uh, check out the YouTube channel below. Um, also because the bird site's dying, <laughs> uh, I've gone back uh, to, um, yeah, you can, you can see where I've gone back to. Uh, there's another place that's cropped up called Hive, I'm just checking that out now, just to see what it's like. Uh, and yeah, and if I figure that's a good idea too, then I'll post that up on my links on, at the bottom as well. Okay, uh, back up, so let's continue. Legends, you threatened a flood so severely that it turned on its tail before it reached Dream, dream Rascal. I'm wondering if that's a reference. Which is why the town continues to be known for its unmatched magical artifact museum. I think I've heard that before. The point is my blood is the blood of exceptional people. Pardon me. Oh. It beats behind my eyes such that I can barely sleep these days. And so I've been searching for a chance, any chance, to prove that I belong to, to this lineage. Let me join you. Right then, let's see if we can't channel that hero juice into something useful. Um... You know what, I'm gonna have another ranger. Or hunter. Ooh, okay. There's a cloud of dust and rain drift in the sky. Wind drags on your belt's clothes and the mill roars. Go ahead, rowdy weather. Blast my path with your salty wind. I won't be deterred. <coughs> Pardon me. With the last look of the fading day, he goes in. An especially vicious gust fights him with all the, all the way to the entrance. Ah, the door. You hold that pulse the door closed, and the milk keeper's a woman named Grifor. A stranger to them, she provides the shelter anyway, and now comes uh, from her cellar with a jug of cool dandelion tea and cups. What a wind! You wouldn't know it, no grain to grind. At least it's quieter. You should hear it when the big wheel's gnawing. That's a creepy word for it. Thank you for everything, Grifor. I'm fine. I'm happy for the company. Stories mostly here told are already worth whatever hospitality I've given. But you two are still settled and staying, just the night? Your bell pulls out the out uh, the poster he's found pinned to a tavern door in Mellow Wald. Thank you, hero, dreaming of glory. Dream no more. I'm Sinair and we need you. Come to the land heroes forgot. Bring a new age of hope to the needy. I'm needed elsewhere. Hmm. And in the morning they journey they continue their journey to that place that heroes forgot. Okay, it's not that far, thank goodness. Yo, well, this side's supposed to be dangerous, right? This part of the world is full of tall trees. The earth smells like pepper and ash. Pharaoh bellows occasionally echo and answer with silence. Sun's not gone. I'm beginning to think you're punishing me for something. Mossy, I should... There's something I'll be meaning to say. Something bad. I don't plan on going back to the roads of the Strack and Chain. Not for a long while, and maybe not ever. Um, excuse me? Did, are you, you gonna tell Yora about this? Oh. It's been enlightening, harrowing, joyful, grief-strewn road. But I'm the stray who follows the hunter and learns to be a hound, but... But it's hard. 
I've stayed doing the same thing so long now. The same way, calling the same place home, and I. A noise interrupts them. It comes from just ahead, barking a voice, a woman's voice. They approach a cluster of trees and find and beyond it a clearing, a road, and a collection of interesting people. You know how often we get that excuse? You think we should keep your home safe and just do it for nothing? Is that what you're saying? No, please! Isn't that the... With a confirming glance at the poster, your bell's found and followed. Mossy passes it forward. I am Swerna, and we need you. Come to the land of heroes forgot. Bring a new age for the hope to the needy. Let me, hmm, let me be clear. If you don't have the money, that's fine. It is? Sure, sure. We heroes, after all. Just fair warning to you. We can't be everywhere at once. I heard there's goblins prowling these hills. And they've been awful burny lately, haven't they, Marn? Right you are, Lady Suena. Burny, burny goblins. Alright, here. This is all I got. The kids are gone. The old man offers the sack he'd been carrying. <laughs> What's that? A bag? Bag of rice. Yeesh. You ungrateful codger. Fine, keep it. But next time, it's double, right? And it's coin. Or meat would be fine. The old man hefts the bag of rice and heads down the road, slow and sad. Need me to follow? Oof. I don't know. What do they even do all day? But they can't afford a little fee. I suppose we could pay him a visit and see if it was lying. Road looks fair. Sky is iffy. No closer now. What's the thing with you guys? Been a long way looking for Suena. Saw the, uh, we want to be heroes. Oh, did you see my poster? What a pose, right? Yeah. Didn't I tell you that poster would get a couple? You're gonna make me put up more, aren't you? Hey, you about two things for a couple. What did we say? I didn't mean it like that. Well, you do look like you've got some danger in you. Come back to the castle, we can talk. Need a uh, hero steals though. Can you handle goblins? Can the hawk handle mice? Yes. Um, I'm also a yes. Well, right, it can. By which I mean... The already unpleasant day sours and fades. They don't look beyond this, they're not. The road withers, but they're able to follow its ghost to a swampy compound among the toppled stones. They arrive as dark sets in. It belonged to a merchant family once. Vagrants were living here. They were scalps. We made it ours. You're not from the area. That's lucky for you. I'm Frenhild. Mossy. What do you think? Nice? Your castle? I mentioned it's a pretty motivating place to live. It's a work in progress. Just a little operation you're looking at. It didn't happen all in a day, of course. The cell goes down underground. Frog noise follows them down to the damp steps. It took me a while to scrape enough brave selves together. With Mammy say, used to say, she said, "Tell me the name of a brave soul, and I'll ask what height to make the coffin." Mammy was a carpenter. Is the explanation. They reach the foot of the stairs in a room with thick odors, stale food, dewy rock mold, and brittle leather. Anyway, here's where we get down to business. Bed rolls, buckskins, barrel stacks, beetroot, liquor, and boiled beans. So when I lights the candles and douses her torch as she goes. Don't forget banditry. <clears throat> so I hear you shook that old man today. You know he wants hero. But you know that, I guess. Your bell. Oh, this. Um. Oh, is this... You're going to lecture me, are you? It's not just the old man, is it? 
It's all the people living around you. You're taking their money, food, that's our work. We collect a fee and in exchange we protect them from whatever. You think they deserve different? You don't think they do the same uh, to me if they could? Your belt there. The others here behind you, pay attention. Your buzzards dressed in the plumes of eagles. That's enough out of your mouth. What were you expecting? Fable pure knights? Selfless nobodies? That's nice for stories. Look around you. We live in the cellar of a ruined something. Maybe there used to be heroes here, but now it's just spiders. We're survivors. We do what we have to. We take what we have to. Speaking of, you got some valuable pieces yourselves. Mm. Try charisma here just to see if I can. A crab might be a tyrant of a tide pool until the otter comes along. That's not so tiresome way of speaking, not at all. I fight because I see what I could lose, and I count it more valuable than my life. If you draw your weapons against us, you're the they're saying the same. Are you ready for that? Silence spills on every head, wavery and clinging as the light of these candles. But, and you'd really let us walk out of here. Sure, disarmed. Uh, boss, we, it's not that we're disloyal or, yeah, we just. So she lays down her weapons carefully, watchfully. Fine, do as I say. I don't know how you intended to stop us from coming back. Everything I see about you says you're not sticking around. But I suppose that's not for today. Today you'll pat yourselves on the back. And why not? You're such a good heroine. We will return here. We won't resort to words then. And unlike you, what we say will be taken for truth. Sure, flaunt your virtues all you want. Truth? You just got born right in the right place. You'll better mostly watch the outlaws file from the room. Hmm. It's somewhat better than expected. Let's collect these weapons, give them to the locals maybe, or... Yeah, well, what will we do? To make sure of... I mean... Is there a way to? So where are we headed? I'm Haman Wolfwood. Ah, uh, Wolf... Uh, Wood 40. Uh, so... Apologies if I'm unwelcome, or... Okay, let's just... I've only been here a short time, and I've already seen some things I can't unsee, and I'm... I'm failing at this, aren't I? Thing is, I want to make a change. Go to life for the right way. Make amends. Make better than amends. So, do you take on apprentices? Oh, snap! A lovely play, that windless afternoon. Mom's coming? No, no, can't. Gufura, the will mean, uh, mill keeper, squints as the distant shadows resolve into shapes of familiar some not. Back with visitors. They love it if I broke out the beer, I expect. And why wouldn't I? You're about a mossy bring young Harmon and his sister. Wait, any sister? Uh, Fredlin into the millkeeper's home. I'm only seeing one per new person in my thingy. Aww. Can I have both? For free? Two new characters for free? <laughs> it's good to have the sky off them. It's good smelling dry building stones and fresh flower. Fredlin, you sure? Why don't you come with me? Be what? Justice fighter? Monster slayer? Nah, I'm good. Ah. Explaining his decision to his older sister, Harmon convinced Friendland to come along the road. At least until it was safe to split. Got our old lodge waiting for me now. I'll sweep the spiders out. Honestly, it'd be good knowing where you belong. I never had the... Mm, but wouldn't have felt good either isolating you. That's what I want. My own time in solitude. And hey, the armor suits you well. You'll do well. Got potatoes and market sausage frying up. 
Thanks, but you're doing too much. All you've told me, I can divine about you. You'll always be needed somewhere elsewhere. Good folks are needed everywhere. Only help, I can clearly afford it. In the food pan, uh, comp uh complains. Fora scoots off to her back to her kitchen. Oh, Frelden sets her down a cup, sipping from the fireside and opening the door. I'll avoid that meal if none of you mind. I don't like ground meat. Yeah, you... Frelden? Frelden? I'll at least see her on her way, I guess. Sorry. It's fine. Take your time. A sprinkling you. Said you were leaving the company. For good. Guess that's got that's still got me thinking. I was talking about starting fresh, wasn't I? So that was the place. Decided against though? I was going somewhere, I thought. But really I just wanted to go anywhere. Anywhere new. It's my it's your old thing, I know. They call it roaming want, travel longing, or also. Anything not like pepper? Oh, oops, did they leave? Stepped outside. Perhaps, uh, seems one plate less, though. Hmm. You know, I grew up in a hard place. People that'd steal whatever they thought they could. Why do you think I ended up here? There's all the sorts, all over. Don't take it for granted. Let me a place to come home to. Have a community you got faith in. That's what those people are missing. Sorry, I... Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, Freelman says thanks for everything. I think she felt guilty. Like, she didn't deserve to stay. Mm. Well, she probably knows better than we do, if that's true. I'll go finish up. Be another while to get things crispy. They stand around a thing and thought, uh, in fourth quiet. The sounds and smells of the millkeeper's cooking are impossible to ignore. Stomachs roar. Mossy pops a new log on the fire. Jill Baldwin rolls the poster that pulled him across the world. Though creased and stained, old ink still gleams in the firelight. If we're lucky, none of us will se ever see Suona again, or of her lackey. But if we do, he wads the uh, paper into a ball and flicks it into the flame. Anyway, suns and moons go by in our lives. Remember them all. The only moment you need to be a hero, it's the moment that opens in front of you. Keep thinking that, living it, and you'll be alright. Nice. And a legacy point. Damn. Beep. Blech. see. Yeah, I probably should give him wisdom. Right. Back to our other one. Oh, man, how I want a second wizard. Oh, well, next time. I've seen that before. I'm not huge, I'm blind. Yeah, maybe it'll be hidden. It'll be cool. The whole thing about wanting a ranger is that I wanted, you know, a ranger. You know, I don't think I've tried this. I haven't tried this one yet, though, but maybe I'll get it another time. Okay. Um, where are we going? I'm 
thinking I'm gonna shore up that area because all of our incursions are gonna come from here particularly here Soundly, the night that poured through the window was colder than anticipated. But then there was also Liara. What? Wake up, Liara. We have to go somewhere. What? Why? What time is it? Time to be on the road. I'm sorry for the rush. Anyway, grab your gear. Thank you. I'm gonna try this. I just want to defend the place first because I know that there's an incursion coming up. No, I need a few days at least. But yeah, see the opportunities down here. All right, and we already read this. So in the middle of the night they went. Where they went, only Mossy knew. Oh. Actually, I'll put poor Harmon aside because I might actually get him to work on the um, bridge across the river with these lot of doing this. to do all the labor. <laughs> Why is spot so special? All oh, right, it's got that wolf head. Hang on. Okay. Those mountains. Journey hints here, I hope. It's been a long trek. The campfires have been mostly quiet. When she has spoken of their destination, Mossy kept her description sparse. She mentions a cave and a pool of water. Gazing at the pool is supposed to give you some kind of, I don't know, revelation? The cloud of her past has settled on her forehead, shadowy and constant. Have we done this one, one before? Don't know. Why does that inside look less stony than your face? Leora, I don't know, honestly. Maybe we shouldn't have come. Feels too late to turn around, though. The clan down rocks through uh, dust blown gorges and discover the hidden mouth of a cave. But what are you hoping to find in there? Uh... Okay, no, I haven't. Something bad long ago. You should choose. I'll say gaps. He's more mysterious. Pain. It's courageous of you to face it then. No, it's necessary. We come up on the pool, not far inside, but there's someone standing before it. Bossy. I'm Nan. Good to meet you. You know my name. Since you were a child, I've watched your progress. I knew we were destined to meet one day. How beautiful. I've heard this called the Pool of Visions. You've heard wrong. In fact, it's the Pool of Revisions. Here, you can see what would have happened if you had changed your 
one decision in your life. What? It's like a a window of regrets then. You must make a pretty good living here. Dude. In any case, you may only look once and after you've defeated the challenge. And the challenge is what? In my youth, I was greedy, strong. I sought to slay the god beast Moatona to show my might. Rather than end me, she saved my soul, gave my uh, gave my life its purpose. Don't hold back. I'm charged to test you, if you're sure. We won't go easy. Raise your guard. Oh. Nine I'm surprised how much of this is looping back to um Ulstrix. Don't get me wrong, it's fun. Final blow leaves the warrior nun dazed and weaponless. Oof. If also in the <laughs> I'm afraid we're tougher than we look. I mean, you've beat me fairly and proven your worth as warriors. Take your one look into the pool of revisions. Further, you should know that while you can see what's would have been going on, you can never change what was. Mossy steps forward as Nan steps back. She leans by glimmering to the blue waters, the smell of damp minerals and cave moss fill her nose. Gazing into the pool, she sees nothing but the bottom. Until. She sees herself almost as she is now, out of time and place, in a place she hasn't quite forgotten. She can't remember what happened here, but there's a lush inside of her, a sense of shame. A cry for help echoes through the woods. Someone. Anyone. And also the howl of a horrible beast. A child then. Mossy now remembers running, leaving whoever it was at the mercy of an unforeseen monster. But in this version, she marshals her courage and goes to where she hears the cries. She arrives only in time to see the severing of a young man's body. A straw sharp beak makes quick work of the corpse, and then. It raises its blood dripping head, its horrible eyes latch onto Mossy. What the heck is that? She's terrified, frozen. It advances and. No, stay back. She falls out of the memory. Water light dances on the dark cave roof. You alright? I'm. What I saw, I'm. alive. I'm alive because I'm a coward. To be alive is a wonderful thing. Life's full of full, uh, full of chances to be brave. Before they go, Biora takes her own glance into what might have been. Yorbel too decides to take a look. And <laughs> we don't get to see it. And they file out, quiet eyes and thundering thoughts. Interesting dodge. Might take that. 
Especially after the last time when we almost, uh, well, almost ran into a terrible decision. On me. We haven't come across it yet, but if your hero goes down to zero health, there's a decision, not a, um, when did that happen? I don't have any, enough LP to cancel any of this. Fine. We get the bad stuff. But yeah, they don't have to die the first time. It's the second time. This will be interesting. <clears throat> Everybody stay sharp. The Thrixler have had plenty of time to be here to weave their webs. Rush a strand and you'll see what hap uh, see what they want to see. What the you'll see what they want you to see. A bit of my darker foe. It's one thing to fight with a blade in the daylight, or even a knife in the dark, but Thrix will change you the ground under your feet. Ah, hell. Bulleen? Hamun? Your build? Anyone? You see what they want you to see. 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 And you hear and smell it too, apparently. I've traveled so far in so many places, but I'll never forget that night. But I'm not here now. I'm in a Thrixel illusion now. Uh, unfortunately, she's a fighter. She's not that smart. Um, try this. Your build is the path that will lead me home. This town isn't real. Those flame moves me towards me also isn't real. Disconcerting, but not real. But your build is real. He's the most real thing here there is. Your build. Your build. Your build. Yoga. She snapped out of it. She's back with us. Thank goodness you're alright, Liara. Just in time, the Thrixel are here. Yeah. Damn, it was quick! Uh, alright, we haven't actually done anything with this guy. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Untouchable. Guardian. Um, let's put her here. Oh, it's definitely nice. Oh, new guy. I think 
just can't reach it? Maybe on the diagonal? She knows, what has he got? A tier one. What have you got? Tier zero, okay. Um. Oh yeah, she can get there. Try getting it on her knife. Or a spirit be still, we're not gonna hurt you. Knife! Getting close to that one. <coughs> oh, really? <coughs> oh, I had no idea. Oh, it's not. He's not in range. Poop. See if I can sneak attack with the new girl. Ooh. 
Yeah, I think uh, that's it. The Thrixor was slain. The battle slid them down a boulder's room up where the grey grass matches the foul colour. Okay. Someone doing dragon pitches? Hey, your belt. Old your belt, the magic man. You badly hurt? Hmm? So, what's your favourite monster? Oh, why? It gets to be Bald Smart. The idea of a giant moth drawn, drawn to listen to great poetry? Gonna be a classic like uh, the giant, a race of a monstrous folk that's different from us, yet not entirely. The essence of monstrosity lies in the twisting of the human ideal. Those answers are fine, but some of us will always love a dragon. It looks like simply, doesn't it? It looks simply, doesn't it? A dragon. The right kind of dragon, I suppose. Always figured if it came to it, that I'd befriend a dragon. They sound like lonely beings. Can't wait until we're around camp fire. The stories will soar. Uh, put items for my new guys. Please just have a curiosity chance to wrestle bones too, which is nice. of some time. Out there, a lightning. You're right. Stormy, she says. Unfortunately, not expected, it, was it? The way to Kena Denry follows long roads, long wash to chalkstone, real scars in memory. The uneven fields beyond this gorge get swampy, especially in winter. A stretch a great distance to sudden and if I invite to uninvite the sudden to invite a large settlement. Got this little cave there. I must be curious. Yeah, it wasn't opened up like this before, unless I just missed it. A forceful gust and the rain comes chasing them. The rocks slick, fragrant, and dark. I prefer a dry discussion. Shadows disguise their death, don't they? Formation seem natural enough. It's rock. We stoop out of the rain. Raccoon. Vol gives a tectonic shudder, and from outside, obliterating the rain noise, comes a clatter smash of dropping rocks. Ah. It's no time before they're buried in darkness, listening to the earth rumble and turn over. As things calm, gritty dust still uh, stings the eyes and stuffs the nose, smelling of fresh split stone. I'm nervous to ask, is everyone okay? The power of the sky always humbles us. Untouched, actually. Heart's beating, so yeah. Yep, still alive. Luckily, the light is not dead or wet. We're taking a longer look, I guess. Let's not lose the exit entirely. Hey, is this worked stone? Yeah. Yeah. The way it forks. 
We've got stairs here. All right, a tunnel and a tunnel. This looks. This is a looks random, but some other passage. Cold draft in there. Very cold. Two tunnels meet a third. A buried crossing. An intersection of shadow and time. Careful. Look under enough rocks and you'll find a snake. What a lovely thing to point. Uh, what a lovely point to make. Hmm. Stairs. Yeah, that cold tunnel keeps me up. These stairs were built to go somewhere. Edges crumble, but steps mostly the steps mostly hold their shape. Time is louder on the stairway than it seems elsewhere. Scuff by scrape they go down, touch by touch. Finally their lightens cast flies out and across an echoing hall. It's writing. It's a poetic in intention to it. The Thnaas wrote a lot of verse, in verse la lot. And also, oh wow. A stone behemoth guards the shadows. A hippo. Damut. Threnag god of rivers, words and rhyme. And also justice? I mean, I think just general wisdom. There's reverence in the stonecraft, I think you can see. Dumbut also shows up to ruin doomed marriages before they could begin. It was an enemy of all betrayers. And the grasp on godly things has gone limp, it seems, since ancient days. A book? How do you suppose that book is? What? That book? That place makes me uneasy. Maybe I should be hurrying you all along. Mossy bends for the book. It had been suspended unsafely against the altar's footing, warping its spine. She opens it. Think they forgot about us. One word on the page. Wanard. Thranic. It's... You know how two or more casts of light that overlap the same general residence? Radiance? That is Gwanad. I wonder sometimes if we'll ever uh, find a thing you haven't read about or studied, or nursed a long curiosity for. Almost immediately, as Mossy utters that word, the whole mountain seems to sigh, and then starts sagging inward around the temple vault. Put it back! Yep! But replacing the book fails to halt the awful growling noise of the collapse. The steps they came on are buried in a fast growing boulder cloud. Are we dead? No, 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 wait. Wait, the yes. If this double one says the temple, it should have a through door. The Theric Regia uh, religion emphasizes passage. The going forwardness of Yeah, is this it? There's a stair. But it's standing around to die. How do I just leave? I'll never learn of such a place. I'll never find such a place again. And what did it mean? Oh Mossy, come on! Oh shit! Back. <laughs> Close call there. In the end, I'll, I'll remember that. But the ghost of Fnarland either love us or wish us dead. Yeah, they. I just. grabbed what I could. Alright, well, there's daylight. They're saying. The head seems to got lucky. Guess you really wanted that book, huh? Well, it's weird, I- Hey, do you hear that? What a noise. They will emerge from the buried crossroad, in a sight of Kenna Tannery. Concealed from the draven who would lie in wait. Sweet. What? She 
gonna end this line. Oh, it's a mage book. And the last one is 68 fees. Ooh. 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 <laughs> I like that second part, allows non-mystics to interfuse. Ah, she found it. She gets it. Oh, I know there is a one-handed um, ranged weapon, which is a crossbow, so I might see if I can get her one of those later on. <laughs> I broke it. Oh, I wish they didn't let me do that. Oh, well, that was my mistake. I remember that for later. Okay. No. position for next round. Yeah, I hate those stupid bird things. just yet.
I didn't mean- sorry. <laughs> Alright, let's get this. Oh wait. How much is it? Uh, it'll be fine. It's fine. It's fine. If you ever watch a feather burn and try to map the journey of every blown ash, you will know something of the fertility that I have known. I have seen the end, watched it come and watched it pass many times. I know something of what lies ahead. Leora and Jorvel wait for the others to come up the road, taking shelter in an abandoned place, a chance to another traveller. I imagine the end sometimes. Then you already you are already weird next to those who you deem friends. Oh, she's creepy. Weird is a word only cowards revile, and so I've said before. The cowards swing swords that cut deep as hero blades they sink. Rain chatters on the thatch. I see things written in the turning of storms. In syllable but letters, in shaking pages of rain, I read the dreams left but behind this yondering. I read of dooms the year intended. I read until my eyes shine and my stomach rolls. I have read you. I know what you're meant to be. I find the ropes of fate are not so tied tightly for those who test them. No one deems you believe, demands you believe. You must only endure what happens. The old storage building smells like an ancient hay, moist rock, and the burning pitch, uh, pine pitch of their torch. The woman's robe moves like it's a part of her. She shrugs. Fortunes were given to crows to tell, and crows were kind enough to share their gift as with witches. The witch will pay shares fortunes with the way behind. Hmm. I do like wings. Then you are already glimpsed the form of your roving spirit must take. You have seen it in your sleep and it will not shatter you. Yeah, well I won't contradict you if you want to say so, but I mean, I will have feathers. You go winged but never flying, fast but rarely fleeing. You wander, your wander leads to the things you never thought chased. Yeah. Mira, love, be careful. This things awake in the night can breach our dreams. The rain will pause in the morning. Do not worry much for you will love yourself, lonelier though it may make you. There was a queen too in my dream. She halts momentarily, the stillness of a startled bird. Some dreams are only flights of fancy. The night lapses, the rain sounds like a river of dragonflies flowing by. Snoring thunder is occasionally, occasional and soft, growing ever more distant. Leora and Yorvel sleep at some point, taking turns. The woman walks out of the pale pre-dawn, without a sound of pain or any observed moment of metamorphosis. Leora wakes up the wind. Dope! They'll continue to learn the tannery. Hey, you build. Uh, there you are. They are with you. Couldn't find you in the rain. Had to camp. Oh, it's not good.
Oh, I wish I could get both. Oh, that's what I like to see. I'm gonna move the other guys first. Get it. Oh. Just now. Back to you, it was pretty successful. Should be interesting. Ooh, some signs. Good. 
approach. Hello. Um, I might give it to the Nora. This hasn't done anything on that. Yes. Defense is up to three, you won't have to worry about this place. There we go. It's still. Oh no. That's fine. That's all we're good. I think. Yeah. Your build. Just don't come back yet. It drives me crazy sometimes. Think something's got him? It's Peddler Man, no? Oi, Peddler Man. Who? Excuse us, Peddler Man. We're wondering if you've seen a fellow pass by this way. He'd be kind of mystical looking. Well, firstly, I'm not selling anything. Could have been any time in the past couple of days. Where are you coming from? A small village near what used to be Cat uh, Catkin's Boast. It's not. Catkin's Boast is where we're heading. Giving a look, but you never saw him? Sorry, no, but listen. Folks been disappearing back there. The. I don't know what's got into them. It's not safe. I packed my things and I'm heading out. A friend. Oh, I hope you find him. The man in his cart, roll along. I think something really did get him, huh? That's possible, I guess. Then we need to get him back. Come on. Anything? No, you? No, it's a little village, but I doubt they're all packed and left. From the gully along the rock rises, with brief gust of voices, hear that? Oh no. Come, great one. Come, great one. Come, great one. Does this normally work for you? Hush up. Yeah, hush. We've brought your gift. Spare us. Your help. The urgent cry is an amber torchlight are easy to follow on an otherwise still night. Yorbell's cage is makeshift but sturdy. This is a sacrifice, isn't it? Shh, now if we stop it. Uh Should we appeal to their good nature? We'll just flush them out. You know what? Attempting to reason actually worked with us last time with that, um, that bandits. Trying to get us all killed, stranger? Or just yourself? The opposite. See that man you cage? Has my heart. Whatever happens to him happens to me as well. Yora. This is the price of survival. Our own not exempt. The Great One demands sacrifice and we have no choice but to oblige. No choice at all. What are you saying? And what's this great one? You haven't seen it. The great one comes from a host of crackling bone things. Monsters. It burns, it eats. Or else it rages and kills across the country. So we'll kill it. Huh? We'll kill it. Won't we? Won't we? Uh. You really mean that? You'd stand in its way? Do battle with a deadly monster? Why? Because it's slightly more palatable than killing you. If we fail, then it gets to eat us anyway, doesn't it? Either way, you're safe. <laughs> oh, I see no harm in letting you try. Don't expect us to throw our lives in with yours. Jerks. 
Village folk shuffle past to open up their homes. Leora, Harmon, and Mossy break into uh, Yorbeld Adamy's prison. Depressing how fear nudges weak hands towards evil. From within the cave, a blue glow rose. Oh, damn. That's, uh, that's nasty. It sort of looks a little, um, a little like a Gorgon, almost. She's got more speed. That's magic. The Great One's extinguished, reduced to ash. Its minions are dead or scattered. Yorbeld and the rest make their way their weary return from the cave in gully in the gully. Here up. I should I mean, thank you. I wasn't sure if it seems like I deserve some extra attention, doesn't it? You. No, you get plenty. <laughs> Dawn climbs onto the distant hills as the old village spokeswoman sheepishly approaches, trailing a young woman with fiery eyes. Let me thank you first, strangers. My name's Jensa Muruflower, and my parents were among the first sacrificed to that thing by this woman and her posse. We wound up all, all under their thumb. In any case, you've broken their power, and we've rested back our homes. You and yours will be welcome here for the rest of our, our numbered days in our humble village. A name shall never fade. As the morning stretches, your belt and the others head out, refusing another an offer to stay in favour of getting on the road. 
The people here will be strong, believing in courage of the robes of the dragon chain. The lair of the Great One will be overgrown with flowers, a memorial for the innocents who died there. The story will ring through generations. Nice. Ooh, we've got 17 now. Oh no, I didn't realize what that was. Oh, I couldn't have cancelled it anyway. Um, so I've played this game a few times. Um, but the butler is my most hated enemy. I don't like it. Yeah. Yay! So with sword and tech means the um you didn't lose a defense tile. Which is great. I love it when that happens. Sweet. Warding. Warding's good for everyone. Point seven. Yeah, give it to the To give to the new guy. Uh, just two. I think we'll start to wrap this up. Yahoos! Uh. Oh, back. You're not finished. have to remember to go back there next time and finish that or oh, repair the tiles. Assault no no lon no, 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 oh my god. No lon len tinkerings. Yep. Assault it Charge The foundry and waiting and not. I'm just gonna call it Nolan Tinkerings. Just as she had promised. The door like a, the decor like a certain Morgathy. Morgathy. It's probably underneath. Stomp around a bit. <laughs> I literally stomp. One doesn't research modifices for years just to remain completely useless. The blind floor stone eventually yielded a moss, uh, yield to Mossy and Harmon's efforts. What did I make Mossy to it? Um. Should be in Bird Lady over there. Revealing dusty steps into the dark. So you're still up for clearing it out? That was the plan. That's why I came all the he all the way here. Why I made this? That's an exquisite piece of work. But a lot of can change in a long walk across the yondering lands. My spine is brambles. My knees are splitting into shards. My ears remind me of the debts I owe them. And perhaps another fight isn't how I want to end this. Not yet. So I wanted to give this to you. Are you certain? Uh, what if you will take down more foes than I could with this point? I'll stay out here. I'm no surgeon, but I can tend to anyone who needs it. Take care of each other down there. I don't, want to eat. I don't even want to know what some of this stuff is. Maybe about to find out. Hot <sighs> down. <laughs> More shredding and stump chance. Uh, this is definitely. Yeah, see that, um. Poor Willian can't use it because she's only got one arm now.
Is this, oh, it's a tier three. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'll give it, I'll give it to, um, Hamun. Clock stopper. It's dope. Oh, we got two wardrobes. Okay, we're gonna take those out fast. Suddenly, a structure hums to life and begins to spew with skulls, skulls splitting fog through the room. I'm gonna destroy that thing. Oh shit. Gas? Oh, hell. I'll go around. Oh, heck. That's a dead end. Uh, does he have enough reach? No. Strike from there? That's weird. Huh. Here. Go up there. Okay, that's taken care of. Breathing, but breathing so that makes things easier. Trying to spread him out a bit because this thing throws fire, and I hate that. And I can't get to him. Really? Actually, who's that? 
No, cancel. Go round the fire. She can't. Oh, I'm done. Oh, okay, the wrong person. Some potency and plus two range. Yep, oh, okay, so. Oof. Ah, good. I was hoping that wasn't them. How things shake out. They've been disassembled. That's a polite way of putting it. We'll mop down what we can. If you've pulled it off, then good. We can rest for a bit. What do you mean a bit? The source of our trouble has been thoroughly dealt with. Nothing's crawling out of there again. The Spokeship's not only was not the only one ever in operation. 
and Nogathi's ability to lie dormant and buy their time is one of the greatest strengths. I'm hoping I'm wrong, but in case I'm not, in case I'm not around to help next time. Not around. It's a thing you have to consider when you reach my age. In case I'm not, keep your wits about you. Chapter 2 complete. Please remove the butler. Nope. No, of course not. During the years of peace. It's true. This cheese is incredible. Liora and Hamun were stopped by a travelling woman, a resident of that small village in the strong maple timberland where the great one feasted. She thanked them again for slaying the monsters and ending the darkest days of her life. Lero took as a sign that her path was rightly chosen. Willene found a soulmate in a man with blooming eyes. He could whisper their love in the raindrops and shouted it to the valleys. For a good stretch of his youth, Herman made a habit of picking up any acorn he found in his past and keeping them in a pouch by his side. One summer morning, out of the blue, he entrusted his whole collection to a local kid. Just got too big for me. Sometimes I worry that once play, uh, once times were peaceful, we uh, wouldn't have anything left to talk about. We can always gossip about Harmon. <laughs> Jeez. Mossy watches the springs pass one after another. They were passing. Were they passing more quickly? Yorbeld and Leora Shea's son has reached adventuring age. Linux Shea has joined the rogues of the stricken chain as a hunter. Uh, yep. Yeah. I wanted an archer. <laughs> Give me an archer. Oh, double flame hands. Yeah, double flame hands. Ooh. Pro arm. Crow arm. I don't mind crow feet, but I kind of like her having the big mace, so no. Okay. Alright, so he's already got a tier 3 weapon. Uh, let's get our, get our gear up. We don't have a fabric and hide this time. Oh, seven! Golly. Boy, howdy. Uh, let's, let's come around the back on that. Um, oh, you need a better weapon. I did have a water bow. That's not too bad. Yeah, everyone's got a tier two weapon. Well, he only got twenty three points. Oops. Um. Mossy, the only thing I can do for you now is a creature armor, but you've already got full armor. Thank you for being fully upgraded. <laughs> um. Okay. All right. Let's uh. In case you lose a hand. Actually, can I give you a crossbow? It's not, it's not a terrible idea. Actually, I should probably give her the crossbow. Uh, I should give her a one-handed item, but it might not be a crossbow. I'll give him the crossbow. And I can have something in the offhand. offhand. Um. You can get it on his own. Oh, she does have. Okay, she did keep it. Okay, she's getting a one handed item. 
Um. Ba 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 ba. Crossbow. Something melee, probably. A sword. A dueling sword. Shame about the shark tooth. I wish I could give that to someone else. Actually, can I like give? No. Okay. Give her a dueling sword. There's two. No, just a normal sword. Alright, let's upgrade some armor. Nice. Uh, mage robes. Definitely. Not seeing. Yep. Seven LP, yep. Eleven. Uh no, you know it. Yeah. Unfortunately you are out of luck, you know. You've used it up. Uh how about instead we get you actually this hasn't been updated in ages. Nope, that's ten. Can we get you something a little nicer? Another water dagger? Mm, nah. Try and find a spirit for him. Okay. Now let's see what we're up for next time. Look at these things. They're beautiful in their own way, but they're not people. They were never meant to be. You think you can stick your soul into one? And whatever comes out will still, uh, the other end will still be you. What's the alternative? Death? If it comes to that, yes. Because having some abomination follow me around insisting it was you for eternity? That's worse, th that's worse torture than any honest loss. Honest, you're being selfish. You can't see beyond your own conception of what a person is. This would usher in a new age of humanity and... It wouldn't be humanity. I'll change your mind. I shouldn't have to. But because apparently I care about you, for whatever reason I can't remember at the moment. Kai, where are you going? Come back! Oh shit. I want to know that I want you to know that just coming here, I've put your land at risk. The Magathi erupt when they catch a wind of any of us. Well then I won't waste your time, I'll just ask you directly. Can you make me into one of you? I've built a body base on my studies of your late friend, but I need your help to finish the job. I'm a skilled metal worker and a decent fighter in my younger days as well. I know I can be an asset to you and your people. Damn, Drainin! No one has called us people in a long time. Are you certain? It's not a safeguard against death. You've seen that firsthand. I don't need a safeguard, I just need a way to halt my own decay. How old were you when you became enduring? As old as me? No. Then you don't know what it's like. Nobody does until they get here. You grow up thinking your elders are just like complaining about their aches and weariness. You think they like sitting in the same chair day after day watching clouds pass. 
you don't realize that they do it because anything more has become impossible. I don't want to reach the point if there's a better way. Better way. Then you have understood where others have not. Feels good to have someone understand. Come with me. We'll make our best effort. A reasonable amount of time later. I've been talking with a carpenter from Cook Delve. I'm getting overwhelmed with people driven out of the surrounding regions by the Morgathi. Rose of the Shack and Chain needs to help. I assume you don't mean helping them by building houses. As wholesome as that sounds, no. Oh, damn. Okay, it's not too bad. So I have to make one pass. Okay. I might save it there for now. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Uh, this will probably go up on YouTube very shortly. Also, hello all the YouTube people. Uh, and I will see you next time. Thanks again.